pages that we're working on that way? Or we're going to uh, use that to work on three pages, page list, page edit, and page new. Right. Okay. So because the, the page pages are so similar to the website. So we just try to introduce something new here so you have something new, uh, new thing to learn. Yeah, I'm just trying to mm -hmm. say, is this just a, a, a an example aside from, from what we're doing, or are you gonna use one of those pages as the example? Like, uh, say, yeah, uh, one of the, the group of pages we have to do for, for the assignment. We are not. We're, we're, uh, we're not gonna change the previous pages, but if you like, yeah, we can. We can change one okay, of the previous so one. Not, mm -hmm. You're not doing. That. You're just gonna give us an example. Uh, yeah. Well, we're just going to keep going on the assignment and uh, using that directly on the new pages we're going to cr create. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But we can also change some old ones. It's, it's quite easy. All right, so we can, yeah, we can just go from start, start changing uh, an old one and then move to a new one. How about that? You don't, you don't have to. I just wanted to know. Yeah, sure. It's, it's actually easy. It won't take, won't take you longer than five minutes. Okay. Yeah, so let's. Sure. Um, yeah, we can just. Try one here. Like uh, here is our website new, right? Let's try try this one. Open with Dev Server. See how it looks like. All right, so this is, this is the website new we created on Wednesday. All right, so for this one, we already have the top one with a nav tag, and the one on the left, I can change that to a side. Right, that is a sidebar, it's a side navigation. So we can just looking for the here. All right, so the this is uh, the whole row. I can instead of using the div and say the main here, right? That is a main tag. Uh, don't forget to change the the ending tag. Well, I don't think it's gonna make any difference, right? So the page itself it looks same. That's for the main tag. It's, it describes the main section. Uh, the part on the left, which is here, uh, let me let me increase the font size. Sorry. So I'm gonna make it twenty six. So you can see that here. Is it easier? All right. So on the left part, let's call them large three. All right. Start from here until the here. I'm gonna change that to the aside. All right. Aside. All right, so start here and end here. All right, that is aside. So which is aside on the left. On the right, uh, we can use a section here. Right. That's a section. So on the right here, instead of div, I can use a section. All right. So, oops, keep, keep clicking on that. So yep, that is a section. So the the, the page itself is always the same. We we'll just change it to make it the code itself more readable. Mm. And I keep going to the bottom. Instead of nav, we can use the footer here. Okay, and that's it. So you can use that to, to structure your code a little bit, but the page itself, it looks uh, exactly the same thing. Right. Basically, just uh, structure your code a little bit. Right. So yeah, we're going to using the same logic here to create the next page, which is going to be page list. Right, page list. So here we have the user folder, a website folder, and we are also going to create the page folder and create all the page pages inside it. The page folder, page. So each user contains uh, multiple websites, and each website contains multiple pages. So I'm going to create a, a page list .html and uh, page new .html and the page edit page edit .html. All right, three different files. It's going to be uh, made today. Yeah, in page folder, three files. Right. So yeah, <coughs> if you're not sure about like the uh, the code structures here, uh, you can just uh, following this this one here, right? So here, right? So. In the user folder, you should have three files, and the website folder, three files, page folder, three files, and the widget folder, five files. Right, this is uh, in the <coughs> requirements.
All right, so let's start with the first one, the page list. Let me just uh, take a look on how we're going to create it. So the page, <coughs> the page page, the uh, page list page, we are going to have a navbar on the top, a list in the middle, and the the folder on the bottom. This is uh, exactly the same thing for uh, for the website list. All right, exactly the same thing. All right, navbar list and the bottom. Let's let's go ahead and start doing it. So we are going to create a template and change the title into page pages. Or you can just change it to page list, it's up to you. Alright, so and then we'll grab the uh, bootstrap, found awesome, and our own CSS. Alright, so let's, let's grab it from the any, any previous page, like a website new. Go to the top. And uh, grab it. Those those links. All right. So this is a uh, bootstrap. My own CSS and found awesome. All right. Just copy that three. And bring that to the page list. I'm gonna put it before the title, or you can put it off title. It's the same. I put it here. That's the links. <coughs> So after those preparations, and we can start to writing things into the body tag, which is going to be the content showing on the page. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is create the navigation bar, right, the navigation bar on the top. So we're going to use a nav tag with the class. So all the classes nav bar. And this time I'm going to using the BG light, so make it light color, and then uh, never light, not light but never dark. Because if you put never dark, the text will be what color? If you put uh, never light, the the text will be black, will be dark color. All right. And uh, also the last one, fix the top, make it stay on top. Okay, uh, and inside navbar, uh, we are going to put two items on the left and the icon on the right. So let's put a div here, right? Some so if there is no like a uh, semantic uh, tags you think is suitable for here, use div is always correct, right? No, it's not wrong. It's not perfect, but it always work. Because if you if you put a, a section or put a man here, it doesn't make really make sense. So use div is is a safer. So right, so this is the uh, icons and 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 the uh, name on the left. So we're gonna firstly put the the left icon here. Right, it's gonna be a link. Right, so this one going link to the website list. Right, it's going to be the page where we come from. So the 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 website contains pages. So we're gonna, if I click the back button, go back to the website. I hope that makes sense. So let's go to the dot dot slash. Uh, then we'll go to the website folder. You can just select it from here. Real quick. Sure. Um, you're, not, you're not starting with a anchor class. Yeah. Uh, class and oh, so the the attributes the order doesn't matter. You can start either with href or with class. You can change the order. It doesn't matter. Right. So, right. <laughs> The href here, go to website, website folder, and the website list page. Right, so it all doesn't matter. You can put it after it or before it is fine. Right, so uh, before we put any uh, <coughs> classes, let me just add in the, add in the icon inside it. Right, so inside the A tag, I'm going to put the icon here. Right, so I'm just going to break it into two lines. Put the icon inside it. The icon will have class uh, from Font Awesome. It's going to be FAS and FA Chevron left. Let me quickly open in the files, see how it looks like. Oops. Oh, did I just close it? Uh, page. 
list here. Page list. Let me just quickly open the Wizard Lab server, take a look how it looks like right now. Right, so this is what we have, and the icon is in blue color. We're going to change that to in black. So this is how it looks like. You see, there's a navbar, but just uh, in really light, light gray color here. Right, so like a, something like white. So yeah, to change your color, yes, we're gonna end in the class in the A tag. You can put it before the href or after the href. It's the same thing. All right. So class is equal to text dash dark. Make it dark color. All right. And the way it looks like this. All right, the dark color instead of the blue. So by default, the link is blue color. So we're gonna change. The, if we want to change the color, we're gonna be using the text dark, text primary, or text danger. It all works. So this is a uh, link on the leftmost, and then we are going to add a text, uh, a, a header, right after it. So inside the right after the a tag, still in the div, we will create a span here. A span is a <laughs> inline element. And we're gonna say pages. And also, we need some classes to style it. So it's gonna be exactly the same thing as the website list. So it's gonna be have navbar brand mb0 h1 and at margin left dash four. Right, it's exactly the same classes we used for the website list. Right, so and it should be like that. Right, exactly the same classes. Actually, you can use M margin left to five. Yes, four, four or five is up to you. Right, four or five up to you. Right, so that's uh, two things on the left. And for the there's a plus icon on the right. Right, it's, it's linked to the uh, to the new website. Right? Go to the website new. So we're gonna put up put a plus icon on the right as well. It's, just, it's also the same thing uh, as a <coughs> website list. So right after the div, right. So the first div. Is a group of items on the left, and after the we're gonna put the things on the right. Let's put a link here. href Let's go to the page new, right? Say page new. html. And inside it, we'll have an icon. Have class fas and fa dash plus. Right, fas and fa dash plus. This is a uh, class is from Fun Fun Awesome. <coughs> All right, so let's let's see how it looks like. So let me open the page. All right, so this is how it looks like. It's, you can see that it's it's also in the blue color. So we want to uh, change the color of it, make it uh, dark. So we're gonna add on the a tag here. I'm gonna say class is equal to text dot. So it's getting the black color. <coughs> Alright, so it should be black. Alright, dark color. So that's it. That that's it. Our navbar. So same thing like website list. Alright, so <coughs> we're gonna create the part after never, which is going to be our list of pages, or right? these pages. So we can use div here, but the better idea is using maybe a section or using a main tag. Right? I'm gonna use a main tag here because that's gonna be the our main tag, main content of this page. And have class container on it. So the class is you applied on the div, it also works on other tags. Right, so like main or section or nav, it all works. Right, because because they are just basically some block elements that have the style by by itself. Container move content into the middle. Right, move content into the middle. 
This is the only thing Cannon does. Just keep the cannon into the, in the middle part. And uh, we're gonna put a list inside it. So a UL. Alright, so I order list. Yeah. Thank you for the for the things you're doing today. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're gonna keep going. All right. So we're gonna keep going. So in the list, let's create uh, create the list items. So first item, we're gonna see let's see what 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 we have in the uh, assigned requirement here. Um, a blog post, blogs, home, about, and uh, contact us. Right. Blog post is the first one. So it's going to be blog post. The second one, blogs. Alright, uh, what is the other one again? Uh, home, about, and contact us. All right. Just all these items. Home, about, and contact us. Okay, so let's take a look how it looks like right now. So I'm gonna check the page. All right, so this is how it looks like. We have the dots there. We don't have uh, any layout on it, so we're gonna add classes to it. All right. So it's gonna be the same class like website list. For the UL, it's gonna be class list dash group space list dash group flush. Right, to remove the border. All right, for each list item, we're gonna have class list dash group dash item. All right, same same class. I'm gonna add it five times. List group dash item. And class list group dash item.
Okay, let me quickly take a look how it looks like. So, alright, so this is how it looks like. It's the same thing like the one we have in the <coughs> in the website list. Alright, let me just go back to here. Alright, so <coughs> next step we do here is is going to change the text inside of these items because that's not going to be, we're not going to just only have text there. That's supposed to be a link, link to the next page. So I want to click the, this page, I want to check the content of that page. So I'm going to change that to a link. And also after link, we also need a cog button. Right, so see the requirement here? We also need a cog button on the right. Right, link on the left and the cog button on the right. I'm going to change the content inside it. Right. So let me just break them into multiple lines. Easier for me to type it. I'll just, just break them into multiple lines. Just hit enter here. Enter. 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 Right. Break them into multiple lines. As for the, <coughs> for the names, I'm going to add in a tags around it. Right. So add in a tags around it. And the uh, href is going to go to the widget list, a widget list, which is just the content of it. So it's going to say widget, uh, actually going to be dollar slash, jump out of the page folder and go to the widget folder. Widget folder and slash widget list .html. Right, same thing, right, same thing. We're going to do it for all of them. Right, so basically, I'm just gonna copy this line and just replace this one. This should be to be blocks. Right, so this one should be home, and next one is about. And contact us. Right, same thing. So now they are all links. Right, so we check the <coughs> assignment. Right, check the ch check the page. It's all links here. Right, <coughs> so we're and then we're adding a cog button right after the link. 
it's the same thing like the web website, website list. Put the, put the link here, and it goes to the page edit. That's page edit.html. And inside link, put a cog icon here. Right, so put icon inside it. Have class FAS and uh, FA dash cog. Right. So we're gonna again copy that things five times. After A, two, three, four, five. Call guy counts right after the link. Okay, so this page is almost done, right? Uh, oh, I, I forget to the class float right to bring that to the right side, right? It's, it's just right after it. I'm gonna add in the class float right to all those things, uh, cog icons. Right, so for each one of the cogs link, we gonna have a class float right. right. Class float right. Right, same thing. All of them. Load right. I'm just gonna copy that and paste it here. Load right. Load right. Load right is the same. Move that to the right side. Move. <coughs> Right, so that's uh, how it looks like. Okay, so <coughs> that is the list in the middle, and then we're ending the, the footer, and that's it for this page, right, ending the footer. Right after the main tag, right, that's, uh, that's our main tag, I'm going to create a footer here, it's going to be our footer. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing like in the previous pages, so class, navbar, space, navbar, dash, dark, bg, 
Actually, not dark. Then about light. Right, this time not gonna be dark. Light and the background light and the fixed bottom. Right, that's our footer. And the inside the footer, we're gonna put uh, because we want the icon to be on the right. So we need to put something on the left. We're gonna put a, an empty span here to take the space on the left. And on the right, we're gonna put a tag. Have a <coughs> href is goes to user pa uh, profile page right so dot, dot slash user and the profile the html and the, the, the <laughs> inside links we're gonna put the icon so icon oops not a i with the class fas dash fa fas space fa dash user User icon. Let me take a look. Make sure everything is correct. No, I need to change the color of that. I right, change the color into the dark color. So I'm gonna to F on the A here class text dark. All right, it's gonna be the black color. Here we go. That is a uh, hot page looks like. So the <clears throat> so the way the navbar class works is if you only have one item inside it, right? Without span, only have one item inside it. It's gonna put it on the left corner. If I, if I have two items on uh, inside it, I'm gonna put the first one on the left and the second one on the right. So in order to move this icon to the right, we're not gonna put that as, as the first item. We're gonna make it as a second item. So that means we're gonna add in a first item before it. And this is why we're adding an empty span before it, which is gonna become the first item. And now the link is the second item, so it's gonna be moved to the right side. You want to call it? You can call it stopper or control controller. So it's basically just the, the, the way you, you know just put that put that onto 
So, so the all, all, all idea here is just put, put the link as a second element, so it's going to be moved to the right side. Yes? On your example, mm -hmm. the text pages is like a lighter gray. Lighter gray. The text pages is dark gray. Uh, well, yeah. No, on the top. On the top? The word pages is like a lighter gray in your example. The pages? Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you don't have to put the colors for that. So as long as you have the what is that? As long as you have the <coughs> the so few classes here, right? So you need make sure you have the nav bar, BG light. Right? Let's took make sure you have that on the nav. And also for that text, make sure you have the nav bar brand class, nav bar dash brand. That's gonna be automatically changed to that to the to a dark color by itself, right? Make sure you have this three class. <coughs> okay, so, uh, right, so if you have any question, we're gonna solve that later. So we're gonna go to the next one. Yeah. Uh, did you add the flow to write? For the link, and add a flow to write class. Well, you can check the code I have here on, uh, on TV. It's a silly difference. Yeah, I think I, um, yeah, I just didn't pay attention to what it was. Yeah, so be careful all this detailed stuff. Mm -hmm. I make sure, um, so <coughs> when you write HTML, you can make sure all your text, and not going to be something like, a, uh, like this structure, right? The, the two texts co uh, cross each other. That would be like that. You won't have something like a, you open the a div here, right? And then you you have a for example you have a list inside here. And if when you close, you definitely want to close list first, then close D. You won't you never see, you're never gonna say something like close the D and then close the uh, the UL. Right? So you won't, won't say some structure like that to cross each other. Always gonna be a container on the outside and the stuff inside. So it's like a Not You're not, never going to say something like cross each other two heads.
All right, so let's go to the next one. All right, let's go to the next one. So we're gonna solve that uh, later if you still have question on this one. So on the page new, right, page new, it's going to be something similar to the right part of the website list, website new. All right, so uh, here I have a, a nav bar on the top and have a short form name and title, and just uh, <coughs> a, a user icon on the bottom. It's, it should be very simple, a uh, nav, a form, and a nav, or, or footer. Right, so let's, let's go ahead and do it. Right, let's start with a template, with the title, uh, new page, uh, or page new, as long as it makes sense. Right, so, and then we'll copy the links, right, so the bootstrap, the style, and the uh, JavaScript. Ah, oh, sorry, the font awesome. All right, so let's copy the three links. We're gonna copy the font page list, bootstrap, our own link, and font awesome. All right, let's copy those those things. Copy that. Put that in the page new. Uh, the page we we'll call it the page new HTML. I'm gonna put that right before the title. Yeah, make sure that uh, make sure you create a file in the page folder, right? So those three files should be all in the page folder. The, uh, the structure should be looks like that, right? So the, the page folder okay. contains three pages, user folder contains three pages, and the website folder contains three pages. <coughs> Alright, so let me just keep going here. Alright, so after you're ending those links, we're ready to start writing on content inside the body. I think it's easy, just go back to copy it from the page list. Let's start with the navbar. Same thing, start from, from, from top to the bottom, from left to right. So class, navbar, navbar light, bg light, and uh, uh, fixed top. Right, so same classes we used before. Right, and then we're gonna put the <coughs> uh, the first item on the left, which is going to be the icon. Right, a link, a tref goes to the previous page. Right, we come from the page list, so we go to the page list and put the icon inside it. Oh, sorry, I forgot the container for for them. So we're gonna put a div. And the link should be inside this A, uh, inside this div. Right, so because I want two items on the left, so I'm gonna have a container for them. <coughs> and the content for that link is the icon, which have class FAS and FA Chevron left. After the link, still in the div, we're going to put a span, <coughs> put a title here, new page, and give some class. So it's going to be a uh, navbar brand uh, h1, and the margin left 4, and the margin bottom 0.
it's all the way same as a previous page. Just just change the title and the links here. And the outside of Steve, I'm gonna put the check icon there. The check icon is after you, you, you change things, just gonna have to confirm it. Right, let's put a link here. Let's go to the page list. Right, ah, page list. An icon inside it. Going to have class FAS and FA dash check. Alright, so let me uh, open this with that server so we know how it looks like. Right, so this is how the page looks like. Let me just put it here. Right, I'm gonna put it in here. Oops, sorry. Just wanna drag that in. Uh, page, page, uh, page. You know. Yeah. So the icons are in the blue color. We should change that to into the dark color. Right. So it should link with this icon here. Right. I'm gonna change the color of them. Right. They're still not in the correct color. So the first link gonna be have class text doc. Right, second link the same thing class text doc. Right, so <coughs> the page should look like this one right, right now. The same thing next to the previous one. Right, so this is our page list, and click on the plus button should bring you to the page new. Right, if you click on chat here, it's gonna bring you back. Right. Right, that is a uh, navbar. Exactly the same thing, and we are going to end in the main part. Right, so the main tag class uh, equals container. <coughs> right. Inside the here we're gonna have our form. Right, have our form. So the form tag is also doesn't have its own style, but it has just allows you to to uh, use the input. 
Now, every time we're trying to create some kind of input, we're gonna have a form around it. So form basically is some kind of like text can can be submit. Later we're gonna uh, teach about how to submit a form to the backend to to, to, to analyze it. All right, so let's put a our put a div inside here. Have class form group. That's the same thing. <laughs> a group of a label and input. Label for the name. I put the name here. And input. Type text. Class is form control. And after the class, we need a placeholder and a, a ID. Placeholder, we're gonna say enter uh, page name. Right, so, and put the ID here, which is a name. Right, so it's formatted by the prettier, just here because it's too long. What is what? Label 4, label 4, okay, so let me see this, uh, introduce this again. So, the label 4, what it does is it allows you to click on the label to type in the input here. That's the only thing it does. Right, so, if I remove that, when I click the name here, it doesn't help me to, 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 uh, no, to, to focus on this, this input, right? it doesn't do anything. So that's the only thing it does. So the four has to be equals to the ID here. So when you click on the label, it's gonna bring you to the input. So the benefit of that is when the user is visited by his mobile phones, right? So he, he has like a, he can decide to click on the input or just click on the label. Like you know, the mobile phone screen too small, and it helps him to like have have the larger space to click on. Right? He can click on the label, or click on the input, both work. Oh, that's the only thing it does. Right. So the idea of that is name and label is for this name, the input. And after that div, I'm gonna create another one for the title. Basically, it's the same thing. Div have class form group. Have a label inside it. This one is for title, and here's this title. All right. And input type is text. Class is form control. Same thing, right? Form control. And the uh, placeholder, enter page title, and have an ID is a uh, title. Right, title should be equal to the four here. <coughs> right, so that's it for our form. So we have a <coughs> name and title. So no, no class or anything will be going into the form. Uh, no, no class for the form. The form is 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 it's just a container. Later, uh, when you use uh, when you have a form tag, you will be able to submit this form. Submit it. We haven't learned how to submit the form. Later, we're gonna we're gonna talk, talk about that. After we talk about JavaScript. No class for the form, just the just a uh, just class for the div inside the form, and uh, and the class for the input. Okay. Right. 
So right after min, let's put a footer here. It's the same thing. Not gonna waste time on that one. Just put a footer and the uh, class nav bar. Uh, let's say nav bar light bg light fixed bottom. Right. So put the span inside it and put the user icon. Go to the data slash user folder and the profile and the icon is class if it is and if it dash user right. it's the same thing as a, as a previous, page, previous page you can just copy the form from there it's exactly the same Go back up yeah, to, to where? To the nav, yeah. That's a <coughs> same thing like the last page, right? It's just a nav and uh, contains a div and a link. down to where? The bottom? Bottom is uh, the same thing, okay? The footer is the same. The footer is the same as last page, you just copy from that one. It's exactly the same thing. The middle? Yeah, it's a, it's a form. Uh, almost the same, but the plus should be a check icon. Okay. Yeah, and the link should link to the different pages. The previous ones, let's go to the go back to the website list, and this one is go back to the page list. Yeah, the link is different, but the layout is the same.
All right, so I'm gonna go to the next page. So I'm gonna basically the next page is very similar to this one. You can have another chance to practice on it, and the only difference is just have an extra button here. And so that's the only difference. See, this two page basically the same thing. Just have an extra button here. All right, so let's let's, let's go ahead do the next one. It's the same thing. So page edit. All right, so this time just again grab the template. And the title here is that instead of a new uh, edit new page, I'm gonna say edit page. Right again, bring the links, <laughs> Bootstrap, Fun Awesome. Right, add your own HTML uh, CSS. Right, the three links. Copy that. Put that right after the uh, right before the title. Right, I prefer to to be make the title as the last one, so easier to find. You can just put that that uh, after the title. It's the same thing. Alright, so we're gonna basically repeat it again from the navbar, navbar, nav, plus navbar, navbar light, bg light, and the fixed top. Alright, same, same classes. And then we're going to put a div here, right, because the first item going to be on the left. So we want to put two things on the left. So we're going to have a div that contains the first two things. So it's going to be on the left. All right, so the things on the left will be the first one is uh, the left icon. A tag goes to the page list. That's going to be the icon class FAS FA dash chevron dash left. Uh, missing an E here. Right. And the second item here gonna be a span. It says edit page. Have class navbar uh, brand H1 margin bottom dash zero and the margin left dash four. Right, so to put this two in the left, uh, in the div, so that's going to be that means we want to put them in the left. That's the first item inside this nav bar, right? This div is the first item, so it's going to be on the left. And to put the second item, we're going to put it after the div because we want that to be on the right of the page, right? So only on the right of the page, we want, want it to be the second item. Right? Div is the first one, and the, this a tag is, a, is the second one. Href. This goes to the page list as well. Have icon here, which is going to have class fs and uh, fa dash check. Right, so the Steve is uh, <coughs> on the left and this a is on the right. This is the exact same thing as the last page. Only word changes here is we change new into edit. Other things is it's exactly the same. And let's just check it. So if I go to here, I just click on the edit cog here, it should bring me to that page or edit page. And we need to change the color of this two thing. Always forgot it. So we're gonna to change that to the text dark. So the first thing here has class text dark and the second link here have class text dark right so it should right, be dark color
Okay, so we're gonna go to the form right after the name, right? So it's the same thing as last one. So main and for the uh, for the class container and inside of main I'm gonna have a form and uh, repeat the, the 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 same thing. So we're gonna have a div have class form group. Inside it, we're gonna have our label. <laughs> label is for the uh, name. Same thing. And input with a uh, ID is equal to name class equal to form group or uh, form control and the placeholder. Uh, enter name here. Enter yeah another page name and also we're going to have a value here right so because it's edit we're gonna have some pr uh, previous value we want to edit it so we have a value and see so you see uh, block right I think this is what we have in the ice uh, block po post a uh, block post all right so that's it for the first input, I have some value inside it, so we can edit it. I right, blog post, okay. We change it. Um, all right. So the second one, right after the div, create another div with class form group label. We're gonna have a uh, for the title. And since I here, we're gonna say title input. As class form control and have uh, ID is title and the uh, uh, placeholder uh, table here placeholder enter page title. Da -da -da. Right, so exactly the same thing. Um, it's up to you. Right, so the by the example, it doesn't have a venue. I right, don't have a venue here, but you can. Yeah, you can. You can put a venue. It's it's up to you. Doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, for the top one, yes, please put a, put a venue because uh, here we have a venue here. All right, so the title well, that's not uh, required, okay. so you don't have to have one. Yeah, but but yeah, it's fine to have one zero. It won't be wrong. Okay. Right, so after the the title, let's put a button here. Uh, button we're gonna put the link here. <coughs> so we're going to click on that's a delete button. When I click it, I want to go back to the page list. So I'm gonna go to the page list .html. and here's will be delete. Right. Using some class here to style it. Class BTN BTN danger make it red and BTN uh, block make it longer. Right, so that's good enough. Right, so the page looks like this. Right. Two input and a button. Yeah, feel free to copy it from your previous page. It's the same thing. Just uh, have an extra button here, and have a value here. And the one last thing is a is a footer. Uh, it's the same thing. You can just copy from the previous page. Footer. Have a class. <coughs> uh, nav bar. And then. Um, a navbar light, BG light, and the fist button, right? And a span and a link. So it goes to the uh, user. Same thing, right? Dash dash. 
uh, dot, dot slash user slash profile html and give it class text dot right the icon is inside it which is a uh, uh, class fa s fa dash user right it's the same thing So let me double check about it. So yeah, that is our folder. So that's good. <clears throat> that's good. All right, so last thing here, I'm gonna send it to the GitHub. Your terminal here. It's always uh, the, the same step here. Git add dot. Git commit dash m page uh, html dash css page part. Right. And git push. So that's it for the page part. So I'm going to stop the recording and send the video.